We're about to take the turtles to the sanctuary right now. It's about an hour drive. I just have to get the turtles together. They're gonna take all of them, so every single one of these guys are going to a sanctuary where they can grow up and get all good and healthy. Some of them have a little bit of shell rot, like this one right here. And that's basically just because they couldn't come out of the water before this. Wherever he was keeping them, they couldn't come out and dry up, so their shells just start to rot. That's why having a basking spot and land is super important because their shells will literally rot away if you don't. But okay, now we're gonna pack them up and we're gonna go ahead and go out. If you haven't watched my other video, uh, the one I released like two days ago, basically I got a bunch of turtles from an illegal vendor. If you want to see the full story, go there. But now we're taking to the sanctuary, like I said. So we got them all ready to go. Here they are. And my little turtle friends. I really don't like this. I'm looking for something else. Did you just pass it up? He's just holding on. He's just holding on, doing his best in life. AT&T won't stop texting me. Shouldn't they get the message? Like, I'm not texting them back. I don't want to talk. Constantly just keep texting me. Like, AT&T won't leave me alone. They're so desperate. The destination is on your left. Hello, you have reached. a great day. We're being stood up. Okay, come here, my children. I love my sons. Yes, I love the shirt. It's so cute. Thank you. Hi, Taylor. Nice to meet you. You too. Yeah, a few of them have pretty nasty looking shells, but most of them are good. Oh my god. You blow a little bubble on your nose. I was so looking forward to these little faces. Some swirls on him. Some of them have really neat markings, yeah. We actually just posted an article about this a couple weeks ago about basically the dilemma between, you know, wanting to rescue them, but yeah perpetuating the, the business. Yeah, exactly. But in your case, you're documenting it. I know the question that I was seeing on there about this is like, are you going, what are you going to do with them when they're getting bigger? Like, how are you going to? Oh, good question. Because <laughs> I have an answer for you. We were thinking for, for the most long-term positive possible outcome for these turtles and for, for any future owner to create a portable pond system. Something more of like that. We're growing duck meat in there right now. A 35 gallon, so like take this and, and shrink it a little bit. This is all filtration media. So we would create like a portable pond system for each adopter if they wanted to. Adopt, oh, okay. So they can adopt. That's adopt. what yeah. people so that were wanting to do. Yeah. So they don't go into aquarium setting. Right. They go into a pond setting. They yeah. come back to us at some point. Exactly. And right. grow it. And I would say two turtles tops for each of those, just because they'll grow. What I'm wanting to do is try to find either places that would donate some of the, like the troughs, barrels, PVC piping, some of the materials, or give us a really, really good deal on it. Thinking you should do that at our house. My mom wants to get one in our backyard. Oh, really? I've been yeah. talking about, yeah. I, was, I think that would be the most successful long-term solution for okay. adopting turtles. You're not hurting for a meal, huh? They've been feeding you good. I don't know how much they were really eating before this, but. Yeah, probably not much. Yay. Say probably about 98, 99% of the turtles or tortoises we take in have come from artificial setup. Turtles aren't good to keep, or tortoises aren't good to keep in artificial setups. Really, it's not the most ideal situation for them, but especially long term as they live a long time. Yeah, exactly. This girl right here, do you want to guess how old you think she is? How old do you think? Okay, I was going to say 15. I was going to go double that and say 30. So she's 49 years old. Oh, oh goodness. Wow. She was taken off the coast of New Jersey 49 years ago on the 4th of July. These girls, they pretty much all come out of the water waiting for some treats. Her name is Mecky. She's a northern Mekki. red belly cooter. This one right here, mm -hmm. not this one. Yeah. Following my finger. This one right here is actually the same species as her. Oh, really? But she's melanistic. So lost her, all the color, yeah. Her colors. I wanted to include this in my video too. The guy's argument with these turtles about keeping them in a plastic tub is that they only grow to the size of their surroundings and that they'll be perfectly fine in a plastic tub because that's as big as they'll grow. Now, what's your argument on that? That's absolutely false. Yeah. Not that I'm against pet stores, but I think yeah. it's a, I think it's a, a gigantic piece of misinformation that's given exactly. by pet stores so that you'll buy their equipment. Let me give you an example. Last year, I do have pictures and video of this of this particular tortoise. Uh, we took in a sulcata tortoise who grew to the size of her uh, reptile tank, and she was severely pyramided. She couldn't walk, and her her jaw was was deformed. She didn't have very much bite strength. They gave her the proper diet for a different species of tortoise. So we see the result of someone keeping them in an aquarium. And yeah, she grew to the size of her aquarium, but she But her like, body, her, yeah. Exactly, but her body suffered from yeah. it. And she needed a natural environment. She needed to be outside. It, that species particular, you know, as you know. Gets really, really big, yeah. Pounds. Yeah. 
so that wasn't appropriate for that tortoise. I've been saying that about fish too, like when they do the argument that fish will only grow to the size of their aquarium and stuff, I always say like maybe yes, but their body is going to be completely deformed yeah. because of it. There's exactly. going to be many and problems. The majority of these turtles have um, all come from some kind of artificial setting and once they come here, they're outdoors in a naturalistic environment. Yeah. All of our animals are and our doctors in order to adopt mm -hmm. uh, also have to be able to provide an outdoor escape exactly. proof, predator proof. Let's start with this guy. <laughs> so cute. This guy was actually um, found by a real estate agent when she was showing a vacant property. He was walking around in their backyard. So if you see this right here, mm -hmm. it appears as though maybe he was hiding in a clump of grass at some point in a lawnmower. Bzz. This looks like it's, it, you know, it's healing over. It kind of heals like that. Cosmetically, he's a little rough shape, but he's very healthy and active. Up okay, so this guy, his name is Atlas. He's Atlas. a blind box turtle. He came to us, the people drove from Lubbock and a uh, wildlife refuge there. And they volunteer with turtles specifically. So they have a trained eye to know whether or not they're actually taking in a wild turtle or a domestic. Someone brought him in to them saying it was a turtle they found, but to their trained eye, they could tell he was not a wild turtle mm -hmm. for a couple of reasons. Number one, when the vet, uh, examined him yeah they saw that he didn't yeah, he's, <laughs> what did you just I, try to eat <laughs> when i hold him up that's, yeah i have to hand feed him so yeah when i hold him he's using he's him. ready to eat yeah, oh, oh. i'm sorry buddy so if he were born blind he would not have survived um, so most likely he was either born blind in captivity and someone actually hand raised him and fed him let him go or he had his his eyes taken from him because of overexposure of the wrong kind of uv light So in here we have, last year we took in 23 three toe box turtles from one person. Oh wow. Out of the 23 we have two mm. left because everyone else was adopted. Oh yay. So it was their hobby for 50 years. It's actually sadly still is their hobby. When you, when you just have turtles over the years and you mix males and females, you quickly become overrun with turtles because yeah. they have babies yeah. and they keep having babies. What we do is we try our best to prevent breeding pairs. You're cute buddy. Oh, right orange. You're so cute. it's a three, see the three, three toes right there? Yeah. I'm sure you're familiar with turtles enough to know that why box turtles are called box turtles, right? They can box themselves in. They have this hinge here. Yeah. And they can completely can close themselves. Close yeah. Door. yeah. So That's so cute. She's adorable. She's oh, really, so really cute. friendly. She's so cute. Oh my cute. god, I love her little skin. <laughs> you love her little skin. Is it ready for the all factor? Okay, what is it? There they are. Oh my goodness. Baby box turtles. So these ornate box turtles here came from uh, one person. So we have these three guys left still needing a home. And then these two ornate babies. Yeah. Now, do these need an outside enclosure too for to be adopted? Or that's what? It yes. Is? Okay. So in here we have, she just made a mess. And this is Nessie. Uh, Hi. African this Sulcata. I'm not really sure on the age, but she might be two. You're so cute. She had the free reign of an apartment. Hmm. And, um, Good Samaritan took her from that situation and yeah. told us. She's been doing really well. She's been eating the right stuff. Good. And um, cactus, hibiscus. Yep. Here we took in uh, 12 ornate box turtles a couple weeks ago. Most of them are hiding really well. There he is. He's so cute. This one is, is my favorite. He'll, yep. if he hears me walking, he'll like be looking. And if I look down, he's looking right at he's me. Like, he's like, hello. Like he's yeah. smiling. He's super cute. He looks like he's smiling. He's so cute. Hi, yeah. buddy. This is another reason why you don't take turtles from the wild. This this turtle was, um, according to previous owners, mm -hmm. this turtle was taken from the wild 15 years ago, and someone, I believe, gave her the the person another uh, one of these. It was a male, and together they had babies. You see how beautiful her shape, you know how smooth yeah. her, her and domed her shell is. Yeah. But this is, I believe, one of their one of their offspring. See how yeah. not domed yeah. and smooth that yeah. baby is? I'm gonna show you the one that's really bad. I mean, he can't close himself all the way like a box turtle should. And I mean, their spine's just right underneath the shell. So when somebody asks me, you know, is it okay to keep them in an aquarium? Why don't you adopt two aquariums or any artificial setup? I say, this is why. Um, they really need to have sunshine. They need, they. I mean, they hunt bugs in here. They eat the really polies the crickets. Yeah. You know, we supplement them with mealworms, earthworms, superworms, uh, fruits and vegetables. Um, before coming to us, the, um, I was told that they only only eat fruit. And so here they get vegetables. Yeah. Do get some fruit too, but um, they get a really good variety of stuff to eat. 
good. All these Hi, are buddy. available for adoption. We have six here and six over here. And so again, you know, with this guy and this He's guy, so cute. You know, they really shouldn't look like a pancake. You know, there are there are species that are called pancake tortoises. They have the flat, They're yeah. supposed to be flat. These yeah. guys are supposed to be have the dome, yeah. beautifully, uh, smoothly domed. I wonder where my radar is. Hey, um, when we're done with this guy, would you mind trying to locate radar? Sure. He's, he's back here somewhere. So, um, this guy here, he is, uh, <laughs> according to previous owners, mm -hmm. he might be a year and a half to two years old. But yeah. I mean, look how big he is He's already. very big, yeah. So, when you get a sulcata, it can grow either a really fast pace or a slower pace, but either way, they get big fast. They can't fit underneath. So. Here he is. Oh, yeah. Radar is our permanent sulcata. He's kind of one of our ambassadors. And when we set up at events and so forth, we take him and a couple of our other permanent residents. He's a pretty cool, pretty cool guy. So, um, with him being a male, he could reach, has potential of reaching 200 pounds. And with them being the third largest tortoise species in the world, it boggles my mind that they're still sold. It was uh, like, I don't know if you remember, at uh, Reptile Pets Direct, it was the really tiny one in the bowl, and you're like, you're so cute. Yeah. yeah. ones that, yeah, they look like grumpy old men. Yeah. Yeah, they're adorable. <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah. Hi. I they like his adorable. little tag. Oh my god, that's so cute. <laughs> uh, and that's he's so microchipped, too. Good. So we put that on with epoxy, uh, which can be easily removed if you need to, re you know. Yeah, and take it off. Yeah. I was going to go look at the... Little guys again, see how they're doing. See how they're doing in their little area. <laughs> that one guy's just sitting up. And you need that son, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, he's the one that's always up there basking. There's a little spot on him, yeah. So are there any predators that could come? Oh yeah. We're, I'm actually gonna be putting over, putting like a screen top over this. Um, but yeah, I mean birds. Yeah. Really, yeah, they a... have, they're really, really anything will eat baby turtles. Yeah, yeah. Um, even, Big turtles, wait, baby turtle. There's a lot of people that are like, just go release them. I'm like, well, not only is that terrible for the environment just to go put them in a random pond, but they will all die. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So we're home now from the uh, turtle sanctuary. I'm here with Ben D now. I'm really thankful this situation isn't something that's like a norm. I don't see all kinds of vendors on the side of the road neglecting animals. Please, if you feel inclined, feel free to donate to the Eden Animal Sanctuary. That's where all my turtles are at. If in the future you are interested in adopting a turtle, all of those turtles will be up for adoption when they are older. So please feel free to contact the Eden Animal Sanctuary. I thank them again so much for taking all the turtles and being so wonderful and actually caring about the turtles and tortoises of this world because they're one of the most neglected pets. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I will keep you updated on all the turtles. I'm sure I will go back and visit them sometime. Thank you guys for all your support and I really, really, really encourage you to spread this message around so these turtle vendors stop being a thing because on the way home today from the turtle sanctuary, I saw one and I do the best I can. I call and report it, but it just needs to spread more. It needs to spread wider. More people need to be aware of it because while I was there reporting it at least 10 people went up and bought a turtle I tried to tell them what they did was wrong they don't care so please spread the message and be kind to not only the humans of this world but all the little creatures that are misunderstood thank you guys so much for watching um, let's go talk to cheese real quick my camera's about to die but cheese can you say bye cheese does this sometimes he goes for the food and he accidentally will get my finger hey that piece was for cheese okay here cheese I have a tiny bit left Oh, I'm sorry. You're getting bigger. I'm proud of you for growing. I like when your little horns go out of the water. Just like that. Well, what the heck? Cheese, here you go. I love you, Cheese. I love you too, Erwin.